Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, a Dead Game by Rob Liefeld and Chad Bowers. Uh, it's got colors by Federico Blee, lettering by Ann World Design, tons of inks. Uh, Adelso Corona, Corey Hampshire, Philip Tan, Ed Piscor, Jim Rugg, Chance Wolf, Will Sportacio, Carl Kessel, Ryan Otley, Paul Scott, Neil Adams, Tom Scioli, Merritt Michaels, Kevin Eastman, Jeremy, Jerry Ordway, Carl Kershaw, Eric Kinnett, Dan Pinosian, Dan Fraga, Carl uh, Altstater, and Bjorn Hein. Uh, so this collects the series that was published by IDW Publishing. Uh, we got a copy that uh, IDW and Hasbro sent it to us in celebrating the awesome year that was 2021 for G.I. Joe. Um, this was an interesting comic. I read the first couple issues, uh, I think the first two issues, and then I kind of fell off on it. So this gave me a chance to kind of read the rest of them in, in one sitting. Ironically, our quote is on the back. Um, my general take is... Um, this is, I think, of the, the better of the later uh, Liefeld creations. Um, the story is that there's this being called the Kerrigan who is kind of like a weapon of a god who's come back and wants to go on a killing spree and the only person that can stop it is Snake Eyes. There are all sorts of twists and turns that you just generally have to turn your brain off of, uh, off to kind of enjoy. I mean, it is a silly story and at times, I would say, borderline incoherent in the thought process. It just kind of throws up concepts and drops them and um you know doesn't explain things you just kind of go with it and it is what it is um this is not rocket science this is not anything that's gonna be super complicated but it's fairly enjoyable i mean it is uh, a visual it's visually entertaining um in much the same way a summer popcorn film is visually entertaining you just kind of roll with it and don't ask too many questions just enjoy the ride. And that's kind of my take on it. That's kind of my take on a lot of uh, recent Liefeld releases. Um, ignore the concepts, ignore the storyline, just go with the visuals. Um, actually, you're good with the concepts. For ignore the storylines and the details, uh, you're good with the visuals. Um, I think I think Liefeld as a whole, at least latter, um, I can't really say in the 80s because you know I don't know how much he was actually writing verses, um, but I think a lot of his, his latter stuff, Major X, this, um, some of his, his latest um, X-Force comic, um, really good concepts. The executions have been kind of blah for me. Um, but visually, it's, it's fun to watch. Um, even the visual stuff that make absolutely no sense at all, where things are just dropped, you just go with it. Uh, weapons disappear and pop up and they are what they are, but, you know, Let's face it, this looks badass. This is very much appeal to that, that 13, 14 year old kid uh, inside. And you just kind of, you just got to go and roll with it. And it is what it is. Um, I, you know, I like watching Liefeld do, or, you know, reading Liefeld's take on Snake Eyes. It's, there's something interesting about it. And the thing that I think frustrates me is it's so close to being really, really good. The first two issues, I think, are solid. Some of the best stuff he's done in a really long time. And then when you get to the la latter issues, it just falls apart. I mean, you get something like this, where this guy's doing, like, all kind of s symbiote with with rags and grabbing snake eyes, and then, like, that's just it never comes up again. Don't know why it just never comes up again, um, and it's one of those things. Is like okay, that's that's kind of cool, and you get like just a really very Liefeld style of all of it. I mean, it just there's there's stuff that's really really neat and entertaining and good, and then they're just kind of like dropped and yeah, it's a little it's a little frustrating. Um, but overall, like, it's just they turn your brain off summer popcorn uh, film in comic form. And I think it's the best way of thinking about it. I mean, if you're good with that, you're, you'll be good with this. Um, just, you know, don't think too much. Uh, as far as extras, there's tons of covers in the back. As I said, like, the first two issues are really, really solid. And it just kind of goes off the rails, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it is it is what it is. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's entertaining in its own way, right? Uh, if you are a diehard Liefeld fan or diehard Snake Eyes fan, go for it. G.I. Joe fan, uh, go for it. There's there's nothing horrible about it. It's just one of those where it's like, you, you roll with what you got and 
ignore a whole lot. Uh, it's out now in shops, so you can go get it. We get um, a link beneath this video, put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We'll do have some links underneath. There'll be affiliate links. Uh, by purchasing through those, you get a, uh, we get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support a site. So thank you. I want to thank Hasbro and IDW for hooking us up with the physical copy of this. We appreciate that. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into G.I. Joe, if you're into IDW publishing, if you're into comics in general, Snake Eyes, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.